got an iconic rec record from the 80s at number 12 on my fancy playlist up from number 2. Everybody knows this record. Nothing obscure about this thing. Bruce Springsteen with Dancing in the Dark. First single. Last song made for the album. But first single off of Born in the USA. June 4th, 1984 fancy playlist. You gotta think about this. And this really blows me away. 1983. Bruce Springsteen comes out with Nebraska. And it's really a series of demos that he made that was put on, on put on put on an album. A somber, sort of a quiet album. No hits off the album. It's almost sort of an experimental thing of sorts. And then a year later, he comes out with one of the most commercially accessible records, albums of the 80s. There were, I'm trying to think, Born in the U.S. There was Dancing in the Dark, Dancing in the Dark, Born in the U.S.A., My Hometown, uh, I'm on Fire, and there was another, Glory Days. There were about five or six singles off this album. I mean, Bruce Springsteen really turned it out. And... Uh, First, some stats, some, some music stats on this record. It was, was written in the key of B major, about 140 beats per minute. This record is pretty fast. Bruce Springsteen's voice varied just a little bit from G sharp 4 to G sharp 5, but no matter, this was, there was unbridled frustration in his voice. Although sometimes it would relax at some points in the first or when he starts to uh, move into the chorus, it re re relaxes into sheer resignation. And I'll tell you why. Now, this was first, this was Bruce Springsteen's first top 40 hit, period, since 1981. His last top 40 hit was uh, Fade Away. I believe I Don't Want to Fade Away. That was in the spring of 81. Then, of course, before that, that was Hungry Hearts, which was a big comeback record for him. Late 80, early 81. But 1984, John Landau. John Landau. I'll just pronounce it as John Landau, his manager. He said to Bruce Springsteen, We need a hit. I need a hit from you. And Bruce Springsteen goes something like, well, man, I've written 70 songs for the album. I've written 70. I got 70 songs ready to go for this album or to or choose from for this album, Born in the USA. But apparently Landau did not hear a hit or something that would just a spark or a, or a match, a lit match thrown into a field of fire, or thrown into a field of gasoline and it just explodes. And sometimes when you have that lead off single off an album, that's your charm. That leads to an avalanche of other singles, of other hit singles, which is precisely what happened in Born in the USA. So John Landau, he goes, well look, we need a guaranteed hit single. A single that will thrust you into superstardom. Not just being a star, not just having one or two hit records. Two top ten or one or two top ten hit records. I mean, just something that will really put you on the map. Big time. And Bruce Springsteen, I, I just have a hard time writing a hit song. I'm challenged. I get frustrated, frustrated writing for other people. And John Landau, well, we, we need a hit song, and we need it now. We can't wait on this. So Bruce Springsteen, that night, he just, he, he goes off. He, 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 has, he expends all that frustration, all that anger, and sometimes it could be a mental block. It could be a creative block, and you just can't get through. You just get frustrated, frustrated, frustrated. You're trying to beat down the walls. But this time, uh, it's a classic case of a manager or record executive that goads the artists so much. They piss off the artists so much that it actually opens a creative channel, and they just flood, flood the page with lyrics. And boy, this song is a cauldron of frustration. Almost, at times, 
just, well, I hate to use the word self-pity. I got the, I thought I had the lyrics to it. Here it is. I get up in the evening. I don't know if I can do this or not. I hope I don't get into any copyright issues, but uh, I'll just quote, quote, unquote, quote. I get up in the evening, and I ain't got nothing to say. I come home in the morning. I go to bed feeling the same way. Boy, this, this is just an absolute, man, I just can't do S. I ain't nothing but tired. Man, I'm just tired and bored with myself. Hey there, baby. I can use a little help. And there's, you can't start a fire. You can't start a fire without a spark. This gun's for hire, even if we're just dancing in the dark. And you just, well, it's about... It's interesting when you write a song about the frustrations of writing a hit song. And guess what? It goes to number two on Billboard's Hot 100. And if I remember correctly, the song was at number two for four weeks a month. Held out of the number one spot by The Reflex by Duran Duran and When Doves Cry by Prince. Bruce Springsteen, Dancing in the Dark, at number 12 on my Fancy Playlist, the first single off of Born in the USA. Fancy Playlist, June 4th, 1984.